Welcome to Meet Lynn. My name is Jodie Bunting. This is our six week course for our slimmers trying to lose a stone in the six weeks before Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, introducing Lynn. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. I'm good. You? Great. Thank you very much. Good. So for everybody that doesn't know you, tell me a little bit about you. What's your weight history? Have you been to slimming clubs? Uh, what's the reason that you need help losing weight? Uh, well, 14 years ago, uh, I was with you uh, through the children's classes when I just had my first child and I lost some weight with you and <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Um, and I don't do swimming classes I just need to shift a few extra pounds so and I've seen your success and I as I say it worked well last time all those years ago um and it'd just be nice to just lose a bit more if possible so it was what was it the church hall ones where we uh no it was at Michelover um on Havenport Lane there oh was yeah the old the old the short Star Star Center. Center. Oh, yes. yes. Great. <laughs> they were so, they were, did you come to the cooking classes as well? No, I didn't. No, it was just the exercise and the nutrition bit. Ah, OK. Great. So, yes. Yeah, so it, well, it'd be, yeah, it'd be, yeah, nearly th well, be 13 years ago. So, yeah, yeah. So it was, it, and it was good and I enjoyed it. Oh, thank you very much. That's good that you've come back for more. <laughs> so currently, what is the biggest challenge? Is it you haven't got time to move or is it the sweet treats or is it the savoury things? What are the, the biggest issues getting in the way at the moment? A bit of, well, I, I move. My job means that I move. However, it is just um, my other job is a caterer. So you're constantly tasting oh uh so yes it is the sweet treats i don't drink much uh and it is the sweet that does get me yeah and do you end up having to eat the leftovers as well no okay that's good no no <laughs> when i speak to caterers <laughs> before by the time i've cooked it <laughs> When I speak to caterers before, this is kind of all the uh, the issue is because they put so much effort into it and they don't want waste. They know how much that has cost, so they don't want to throw it away. So no. if, that, if that's not an issue, that's fine. No, that's no issue. It is just I've had enough of looking at it and I've cooked it. <laughs> but it is just tasting all the time and having bread with it and all that. Yeah. OK, great. Um, and have you got a Fitbit or any sort of step counter? I have on my phone. Okay, great. And do you know what your steps roughly are a day at the minute? About 13,000. Okay, great. Are you a member at a gym or what exercise do you do regularly? <laughs> my other part-time job is being a farmer. Oh, yes. So you sent me a lovely picture of you in the field, didn't you? I did, yes. So <laughs> I do get plenty of exercise. I used to horse ride, but I don't at the moment. Yeah. Um, uh, and I do do a lot of physical work that side as well. Do you I get do, any I days do. off or not? No. OK, right. <laughs> what I was going to say was, you know, if you should have possibly have a day off, try and do some like extra walking there. But I actually think because of your physical activity and the steps that you're doing, I don't think you need to improve your exercise at all. Yeah. So let's talk food. OK. OK. Um, the, the main nutrient kind of goals that we have is to have protein with every meal and a portion of fruit, vegetables or salad with every single meal. Yeah. How do you think that's happening at the minute? Uh, it does at breakfast and at tea time. It's lunchtime. I don't. So, so much. what Especially sort of things are you having for lunch? Uh, sandwich. Anything that's on the go pretty quick, like everybody else. Okay. Uh, or have soup or just anything that's easy. You've got a time frame before either school run or, you know, we've only got like half an hour trying to get something quick and that's filling. 
And would you say you stick to three meals a day or are you a snacker? Snacker. Okay. So snacker. What, what I want you to try and do is to try and mm -hmm. stick to three meals a day if you can. Have you used the MyFitnessPal app before? Okay. No. Okay. So have you counted calories no, before? No. Okay. Welcome to the world no. of counting calories. Okay, <laughs> great. It's, it's got a bad Thanks. reputation, counting calories. Uh, but to be honest with you, it's not just slimmers who count calories, it's bodybuilders, it's athletes, you know, loads of people monitor what's going in yeah. because it's a bit like a bank account. If you don't know what's coming in, then you don't know what's going to go out. So this is yeah. kind of why we want to track. Because you haven't done it before, it is going to be a little bit tricky to try and track. Um, okay. But all you do is literally, you've downloaded the app, haven't you? I have, yes. Yeah. So you just literally search for food. It's good to search through brand. Obviously, if you're having, what sort of farm have you got? Have you got some nice fresh produce to eat? Uh, beef, arable and sheep. Oh, fantastic. So <laughs> if you, <laughs> yeah, I think if you search the word butchers and then obviously put meat and things that in, it will come up. If it's a product which is from a, got a label on it or from a supermarket, then search the label as well. Um, it is a little bit of a guesstimate as well, uh, because, for instance, if I search a beef steak, I will get loads of different things, every, anything from 100 calories to 1,000 calories. So you can't, it's a little bit of a guesswork, but as long as you're, you're tracking the foods that you're eating, and yeah. then that's what I'll be looking at more than the exact calories. So okay. it is a little bit of a guesstimate, but just kind of go with it for the first week. And if you've got any questions, just message me, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no problem. Fabulous. How's your sleep? Mm, intermittent. Because you're too busy working or you, you haven't got time to sleep? <laughs> I don't sleep the best anyway. I never have done. So I could probably get about six hours, six, seven hours a night if I'm lucky. Okay. Um, and what time do you go to sleep? Um, uh, I, I kind of have a sleep about from nine till 11 and then go to bed. And then I sleep from about midnight till about four and then i'm awake five till six okay so, that's good so if you can go to bed a little bit earlier you know so you get that continuous nice quality sleep instead of yeah. falling asleep before you go to bed that will be better yeah um, and how is your digestive system fine yeah okay. excellent right so hopefully over the coming weeks you're going to lose a stone you're going to sleep better and you're going to have more energy because it sounds like you need it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice. <laughs> Wonderful. Right. Have you got any questions for me? I don't think so. No. Wonderful. Right. Thank you very much, Lynn. That's it for now then. So we will catch up next week. We'll do Zoom again next week. Yeah. Uh, and we'll Perfect. do it every week like this. And as I said, just message me if you've got any questions. OK. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Jodie. Wonderful. See you next week. Take care. Bye. Bye.